time now for your forewarn weather with Nate Larson. You know, Nate, every time I see that guy uh, going to town, I just don't understand how he keeps those things down. I, I almost thought a barbecue sounded nice or even a hot dog until I saw that. I, I, don't, I wonder how long it takes <laughs> for him to eat another one of those before it sounds uh, enticing. So, yeah, hey, if you're going to go out and barbecue, beautiful weather in southern Utah this afternoon and evening. St. George showing off some of the red rock and the clear skies has been a touch breezy. Uh, St. George at 102, so it's scorching hot out there. Stand next to the grill. Yeah, you need to find some shade, some air conditioning with the hot temperatures that we are seeing and experiencing out there. Uh, as far as the University of Utah looking off towards the west, we have some of those high clouds uh, and some uh, even some threatening looking clouds, some light precipitation rolling along a front that's been working its way through. We really haven't had a lot of moisture in the last 24 hours across uh, much of the state, but there are some areas with some of the se severe storms we saw yesterday. So in the last 24 hours have picked up almost two tenths of an inch at Hill Air Force Base in Layton. Logan Summit, 1500s, just over a tenth of an inch far west Centerville, Tremont and 700 of an inch. Tomorrow, we've got another chance, a slight chance of some moisture across mainly the central and the southern northern portion of Utah, primarily hugging the eastern part of the state. The Uintas could see some showers as well as some lingering moisture is going to stay in place. That's kind of the main target zone for our showers and thunderstorms this evening as well. Temperatures were cooler today from yesterday. If you step outside, it's not quite as hot across northern Utah at least. Still feels like an oven as you step outside in southern Utah. 101 Green River, Hanksville 100, but just mid-80s across the Wasatch Front, Logan 83. Wind speeds have been a bit of a concern. In fact, it's increasing our fire danger, not only in southeastern Utah. It's the low relative humidity as well. There are red flag warnings in place there. But if fires start in other areas like Hanksville, Cedar City, St. George, they will spread quickly with the hot temperatures that we're seeing and some of these blustery winds. The areas that we have red flag warnings are for the San Juan area and for Grand County, uh, portions of Grand County at least, until 10 o'clock this evening due to wind gusts up to about 45 miles per hour. Relative humidity, humidity is down to 7 to 12 percent. Wind speeds fortunately are expected to taper off along with that uh, red flag warning. Northern Utah, if you're going to be out lighting some fireworks this evening in improved areas, lighter winds are expected this evening, so it shouldn't uh, with some of the elevated winds now uh, hinder you from getting out and enjoying the evening tonight. If you're still lighting off fireworks into tomorrow, should be another calm afternoon and evening across northern Utah along the Wasatch Front with some light to variable winds, but a little bit breezier across southern Utah yet again as we're still watching a storm system pull off towards the east. Checking in on the upper level winds after this weak disturbance passes by, moves off towards the east, high pressure then takes back over and some very hot temperatures are going to return. We'll start to see a climb in our daytime highs across northern Utah. Southern Utah still dealing with those triple digit temperatures. No big change there. Not much relief in sight as well. So 104, 103, somewhere between those two temperatures each day through the end of the week. Next week we do warm up a little bit more. 106 to 107 7, Monday, Tuesday, sunshine continuing for the Wasatch Front. We'll see clouds late in the day. Temperatures of 91 tomorrow, so similar to where we'll be today, if not a little warmer than today. Mid-90s for the rest of the week. We should see a little bit of a disturbance late tomorrow evening. Clear out Thursday morning. Otherwise, climbing temperatures with high pressure in place to 98 Sunday, Monday, and triple-digit heat yet again uh -oh. on Tuesday next week. So it could Starting be our to sneak day. back in there, huh? Yeah, it's getting hot again. Hmm. All, All right. right. Appreciate it, Nate. Look at so this, much. three red, white, and blues oh, here. I mean, That's how did that happen? Yeah. Right. What, a what a coincidence. coincidence. <laughs> Jinx. All right, we got to look at uh, at least one of the new guys. Left. Yeah, this guy's going to be fun to watch for the next few years. Very impressive summer league debut out of Jazz.